many people they they think about consumer rights but to a large extent it, it overlaps heavily with the responsibilities of a consumer whether it be a financial or general consumer you have a responsibility to understand firstly what your true needs are you may go to a bank to open an account or you may be doing your research online but you have to be clear in your mind what's the purpose of this account and once you clarify what your needs are you're better able to decide on which product suits you best the second responsibility you have is to understand what is being offered to you because you may go and you may speak to someone and they are custom marketing things generally. They say, well, no, you may not need a premium account. We just need a basic savings. Understand what you're signing up for, even your credit card and so on. Remember we spoke about customers having choice and the ability to shop around? Well, it's the same thing. You go to one institution and these are the terms. You go to another institution, they have different terms. Some of them at the margin, you know, they try a little product differentiation. But what it's all about is customers understanding the different products that are on offer and choosing wisely, making responsible financial decisions about how they spend, how they save, whether they budget what they're preparing for, whether they understand and are able to compare between some of these, these products. That's the most empowering thing that an individual can do for themselves in building a history of responsible financial behavior. If you Google National Financial Literacy Program, you should get us coming up there. We, we have a lot of resources on the website that provides information for young people for potential homeowners, for people planning for retirement, for people who want to understand budgeting, saving, investing, looking at a financial calculator, you know, just a variety of useful resources and some videos that helps provide basic financial literacy information for anyone who is interested and all our programs and offerings are free of charge. The second thing is that there's a part on our website where you could click request a session. And if you could get 25 or 30 people together, we will provide you with a skilled financial literacy tutor to take you through either one or two sessions, or maybe if you want to discuss a series of se sessions, all free of charge. Once you follow the instructions about requesting a, a session from us, what we do is we have one of our officers contact you to do a needs assessment. We want to make sure that we understand what your needs are because some people have problems with budgeting and saving. Some, they're good at budgeting and saving, but they don't really understand and they probably are afraid of investing. We want to help individuals to develop just what I said before, the knowledge, the skill, the behaviors, and the attitudes to manage money properly. <music>